So this is about clearing the um, the mental body and revamping it, the mental emotional images that we have. And uh, I've noticed lately that I've been doing a lot of clearing and a clearing of the vital body and the first chakra. And uh, the results of this clearing are the, like the symptom of this clearing are all kinds of very, um, what do you call sad or painful thoughts and emotions and angry perhaps or all kinds of things come up that, that I considered in the past, I didn't even have these emotions, but maybe from prior lifetimes uh, or maybe deeply buried in this lifetime from some single incident sometime here or there are patterns of uh, thought and emotion that I consider to be completely unacceptable. And as I clear, these patterns come up and uh, completely horrify me. <laughs> See, but the good thing is that they, they're coming up because they're leaving, they're clearing. And so I, I try to be dispassionate when they come up. I try to, to feel good about it, you know, that it, in fact it's a good thing that's happening and that spirit really knows the right thing to do for me and not get involved in the stories that come up because there are many stories that the mind attaches to these kinds of emotions just just rotely, just out of a stream of consciousness and prior experience. So say I remember from a past lifetime, a time when I had been uh, brutally killed during the war, right? And I'm in the process of releasing that energy stream, that thread of energy and any other people's energies that happen to be uh, similar resonance in, in, in it, and in that are attaching to that. It will bring up memories of maybe past lifetimes when that happened, or maybe movies that I've seen, or maybe uh, any kind of, any moment in my current life when I felt that kind of horrible emotion. And so, I can pay attention to the story or I can just release the energy, you know, and go on. And it seems to me much faster to, to simply pay attention to the energy and not the story. So another technique uh, recommended by Patanjali, the great yogi in, in India, is to observe thought. This is not so much for clearing but for habitual thought streams. So, so let's say I have a habit of, of sadness or anger or jealousy or whatever it is. And, I, and then this keeps triggering, all the time triggering. So the, the thing, one of the things Patanjali recommended is uh, coming up with something else to replace that, something positive, something that will allow us to, to grow spiritually and be more happy. And so he suggested sacred stuff like Om, chanting Om, or chanting, uh, singing a Christian hymn, or whatever it is that is uplifting, you know. And eventually, the thought is that the vital body will, will divinize. It'll start actually loving the the idea of God and the concept of the divine. It'll actually start singing like that instead of singing off key a little too sharp, a little too flat, whatever it is, it's musically just kind of painful to hear, you know? So that's, that's Patanjali's idea, and that's my idea about Patanjali, sorry. <laughs> and that's my idea about energy rather than stories. Good luck with your clearing. It's kind of fun. Talk to you later.